Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 on the PC with a few mods in survival mode. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 77. And Kate and I are gonna go try to do this mission here. It's a uh, Ticonderoga, and I believe this is the set up the Mila one. Yeah, yeah, Cash, set up the Mila is here. Right there. So, Kate and I are going to do that on our way back. Because we are now headed back toward Dr. Amari in Good Neighbor. In last episode, we got Coastal Cottage. There's always someone here, man. Always. Every damn time. These guys respawn like I can't believe. We can just get by this time. So Kiri is someone we have to go see again. Transformation and get her. her sent the body. We still need to go see the captain up here in this quest, but this is not something I want to do yet. That's one of those quests where I kind of need to take Ada with me, I think. That is a very good question. What do we have up here? We have a uh, a bot. Mr. Handy, if he's gonna leave us alone, then we'll leave him alone. This thing is on the north side of the river, right? Yep. Handy Styles. Why is it telling me there's a Mandy Styles in the middle of nowhere? It's one of those, those little buggy parts of the game. Yeah, I know where this I know where this Mila goes actually. to CIT. I wonder if I shouldn't just go in there with Kate. It's a rainy day yet, but we're just going to want the Mila up there. The top of that building. The only question is, we cleared this out of Raiders a while ago, and the last time I ran through here a couple episodes ago, there was nothing. So maybe there will still be nothing. If I get up there. see there's a thing right over there yep that's how we do it okay and to get over there you gotta go over here and to do that you gotta shoot that guy a little drink a little bit of this a little bit of this Did I shoot that guy where was he can we go yep Oh yeah. I get your elaborate device here. Or it's, it's up here. Bring me the bucket. over there somewhere. It's about to... Ha 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 buddy! 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How'd you like that? Kate, what happened to you? Where are you at? Oh. Hey, let me set up the Mila real quick. We're back to Tinker Tom. You gotta not fall down like that. Okay? Feels a lot better. Thanks. All right. Do you want to go do CIT right now, Kate? We're right next to it. Let's just do it. We're back to Doctor Carrington. Set up the DIA cache. Report back to Tinker Tom. We gotta do this DIA cache thing. Let's go to CIT. It's right here. We might as well just do it. I wanted to take either her or McCready. And since it's right here, you know. Travel to the ruins of C I T. Yeah, let's just do it. Fun. Alright. Here we go. Tune to the Courser's radio frequency. Beep. Come on, Kate. I happen to know where this is. Oh man, we sent him flying. fastest way to get through this place is to go straight through it. Here we're getting here. Hey, it's beeping. beeping really? I love CIT. I love this part of the main quest. It's Very, I liked that they did this. I thought it was neat. Hey, all right, kill the courser. Let's go do it. Where's the radio signal? Let's go do this. This one's always so much fun. It's just a lot of gunfire, it's a lot of gunplay. Hey, look at you guys. Dead dudes. Dead gunners. Looks like there was a problem here. Where are we looking at? Oh, the hallway. It's over this way. Hey. Reinforcements to the lobby. Oh. Spray and pray. This is the perfect time for it. Oh, it's the other gun, though. Used to be in the fourth slot.
we just blow them up. Because, you know, we can't. Okay, so I can't go that way. Oh, I see. Hey, hey, hey. Well, well that's kind of why we're here, Kate. To do it a little bit more often. More than you can handle. Just saying. Hey, looky here. I mean, kind of have to come in here and take a look at this stuff. Hey, I need food. with a baton, really. Oh, look. You blew up. That typewriter. I think we're done with this. Colander. What's a colander? Hey. Pipe bolt action rifle of stag. Okay. Of course, sir. Of course, of course. What's in here? Fuse and another technical time. Don't know how the steel's gonna love us. Oh, here we go. Who's there? You were in here doing your business? Sorry, man. But, you know, I can't, like, not shoot you. And you, and you, and you. Lots of stuff. Love it. Lots of stuff. So great. What? There we go. Technical documents. Oh, just love it. Just love it. There's so much stuff in here. So much loot. And yes. Massachusetts Surgical Journal. I mean, for free. I wasn't going to pay you. Kate, what do you got? Should we go through Barricade, here? Barricades, stairwells, and hallways, if you haven't already. Because there's this other nut job who's coming to kill us. He seems to be really good at it. And that would be me. Sounds ferocious. <laughs> Sorry, Kate. That was... Legendary. Well, we'll get up there. Not in a big hurry. Hey. You guys had it going on down here. There we go. You gotta like those test tubes. They're full of, uh... Kappa! Here's a dead dude. Another dead dude. Hey, Pwn. Check those corners.
Sectors two and four. Oh, well. It's like that sector there is full of dead people. Yes. Ooh, mines. Lower top cocktails. Hey, what the hell? I not see something there. I must not have. Nice. Oh, you always take me to the nicest places. Well, I try. Oh, look at you, Gunner. Dead Gunner. Hey. Stairs. We got some. You're dead. You got power armor. You're gonna hit me with a baton. Come on, man. Hey, who are you shooting? Make sure you shoot him dead. Okay. go that direction. Let's make sure that we've exhausted all options in this direction. Sorry again. Jeez. This is what I came in here for. Because there's loot. This whole building is just so full of good loot. Oh my goodness. And there's a missile. And there's a stump. And there's a light bulb. It's like slowed it. Jingles. So it's in here. Technical documents. We're just we're just Loading up. Okay, so this was the other way we can get up here. Same direction. Terminal. This thing unlocks, but let's go power. Lightness is zero. Okay, uh, maybe? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, I don't. Yeah. More explosions. So powerful against humans. Ridiculous. It's awesome. Okay, let's see. People way down the hall. There it is. Oh hey, look. We're we're exhausted now. Okay. In that case, it's gonna be bolt action rifle of staggering. I don't have to worry. Nocturnal, that's what I'm using right now. Oh, is it is it nighttime right now? Is that why this thing is doing so much damage? Man, that's awesome. Really don't need the missile launcher. And this is just a thing of beauty. Salvage beacons, the very best mod for survival mode that was ever invented. I'm so glad that the mod author decided to come up with this because this is a this is a mod of necessity. If he hadn't have done this. Somebody else would have had to. There would have been no other way to do this. Oh, 
Hangman's Alley. Guess we should save it. It's been a while. Nobody down the hall, then, or you would have started shooting. It's these goons. We're now dead. Okay, what about this guy? These guys, yeah. We... More explosions above us. Let's get up there. Anyone alive needs to get up to the top floor immediately. That's an order. Hey, a laser trip bar. But you think you're fancy, don't you? I'll take that grenade. Top floor. Oh. Safe, and that the safe is no Sweet. I love you, Kate, but you gotta not be in my way right here. I want that. Net, 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 net. Net. Is this dead person? Gunner. Is this dead person? Other gunner. I wonder if there's a button that can get us the hell out of here. Well, maybe. Who? Furry. Oh, it's not furry? Maybe it's the price is right. Price? There's one likeness for price. Well, it could be armed because the R would match. It, no, so the R is not it. Okay. Can't be large because nothing matched with furry. Can't be brunt because the R in the second position doesn't match. Seen would match the E at the end of price, so let's try Got that. It. Current control. Deactivate. Optical tripwire control. Activate. Let's see what happens. Oh, this is this is back here. Oh, that coffee cup. Nothing major. Alright. Take him out. Nope. Lovelies. Yeah, what time is it? It's 12 16 a.m. Yeah, it's midnight, so now we're, we're maxing our uh, our damage potential with this gun, which is just fantastic. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, the elevator. Let's go, Kate. Come on. Okay, I'm going without you. I'm more afraid of ghouls doing damage than a Corsair. Right, let's do this. Hey, look at this. Terminal. Master. Unlock. What do we have here? Accurately approaches appearance. Hyperlight. Incredible. Mr. Incredible. 
Let's see, does that have anything that matches it? No. Apocalypse. No Y P S E. Only the E on the end. Oh, it matched four. Okay, so how about accurately? No. Approaches the A P. The A and the P match appearance. The A and the P and the A, the second A, and the E on the end. There we go. Alright, what's in here? Hey, fusion course. That's, that's all that was in there was just some fusion course, huh? Okay, but still, that was that's a nice bonus. Only because I hate your, your beeping. Where, where's the other one? Well, what's this? I don't know. What's this thing? And in here we have Mentex. And another fusion. Have at it. I never liked messing with this technical crap. <laughs> Somehow that seems completely in character for her. Oh my gosh, we all know that one person. This technical crap. Hey, there's a uh, aluminum king. Don't get distracted by the pretty aluminum. Hey, what do we have here? I don't know the password. I'm telling the truth. I don't believe you are. Oh, God. Please, no. <laughs> All he had to do was kill me. Now, are you going to cooperate? Going to get in there. It's just a matter of time. Tell me the password. You've been following. Oh, Corsair go boom. Use a little help over here. All right, Corsair chip. That's what I'm talking about. And I get the Corsair uniform. Ooh. He... he deserved to die. I know you're not here for me, but... I can't get out. Not on my own. I'm going to have to trust you to help me. I promise not to hurt you. I guess I don't really have a choice. Do I? The guard put the password in a toolbox. Over there, under the stairs. Use it to gain access to the terminal. And open the door. Okay. Get away from me. Okay. Let me know in the toolbox under the stairs. Under the stairs. I see it, but I have loads of... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Can I just... Oh, it probably says I need the password, doesn't it? I probably can't hack it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. There's a fat man. Could have hacked it, I guess, but I got the password. So, turn elevator on. Yes. Security door control. Open the door. Hi. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Who are you? My. Institute designation is K198, but I prefer Jenny, so yes, I'm a synth, if you hadn't already guessed. I knew they'd send a courser. I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him too, but then I was captured by these 
mercenaries. And all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do. That always felt like a missed opportunity to me. And as far as the quests went, it seemed like it would have been a good opportunity for her to go back to to the railroad. You know, it seems like there should have been some kind of dialogue option for you to say, "Hey, I'm with the railroad. We can we can help you." You know, and and instead there's nothing. And it feels like maybe they had it set up that way, and they were gonna do that, and then they ran out of time or something, and so they didn't do that that quest that way. But it feels like it sh that's the way it should have been. So if you're aligned with the railroad, there's there's more to that quest. But it, it it's always just felt like a giant missed opportunity. Something about that never never felt right. Oh look, there's a mini nuke. Okay. Well, let's take the elevator. Terminal only. Terminal. What door control? Unlocked door. Hey, look. And get out of here. Well, that was CIT. That's always fun. I always like that. Oh my goodness. And now we have a Corsair outfit, which we can put some ballistic weave in. And um, that should create a little more... A little more uh, protection for me when I want to go to Spectacle Island, because I really want to do that. It's just such a neat little part of the game. I like it because it, for power armor like users like me, it's a it's a different kind of a challenge. Okay. What the hell am I looking at? Oh, okay. For me to I thought that was. Uh, I like this. I got guys down there. There is, oh, there's those ghouls in that, I know where I'm at, so, this is, there's the bridge, which means that right about there, over in that direction, is that the green monster wall over there, okay, well, we just cleared that place out, so, eight, you're gonna have to catch up. I want to get us back to home base. Well, either that or we can snooze out here. Now, I'm not, not a big fan of doing that. Yeah, there's a mine. I'm going to grab that. It doesn't blow me up. Kate, my friend. What should we do? Should we go see Dr. Amari? Have the course chip analyzed. Report back to Carrington. Secure the DIA cache at Jackpot Hub. Report back to Tinker Tom and emergent behavior. Everything is down in this direction. Okay. It's not following what but anyway, getting back to the concept of Spectacle Island, yeah, don't fall down there. For power armor user like me. You, you can't get on that island with your power armor. I mean, you can. I tried it one time. I was able to do it successfully one time. And how I did that was... I just went underwater and I walked the whole way over there. But it's really slow underwater. It's just like being encumbered. And oh my goodness, it is not... It's not recommended. That's what? for sure. Who's there? Jeez. I agree. <laughs> that 
was some bullshit. <laughs> Kate, you are the best. That is so funny. That was some bullshit. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at that. That was so funny. I've never heard her say that. Oh my gosh, that was killing me. <laughs> Alright, where are we at here? There's Doctor, yeah. Oh. Those guys are going wild. Okay, let's look at the map. Talk to the caretaker. Down here is secure the DIA cache. Let's just go do that while I have Kate with me then in the Brotherhood of Steel is down here pounding on somebody. We might as well take advantage of that. Of course, stop. Get a little bite to eat here. What, what am, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Thanks. Oh, I'm, I'm out of water. That's not good. Um, okay. Let's see what we can do about that. They're shooting. Who are these guys? Time. And the women are still powerful, compensated. Who's that guy? Dead. That's who he is. Who is he? He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Jim? He's dead. Show your face! Come on! I dare you! Yes, you're down in there somewhere. Where's this cash at? Door for the cash at. Is it over there? Come on out. Down that hallway. Nice and quick. It's down here somewhere, isn't it? Who's that? That's Kate. She's shooting at someone. Yeah, you shot my companion, so. Kate, where is this place? Where's the door to this place? This is back inside in here. We were just in here. What the hell was that? Whoa, shut the fuck up, sir. It's through here? Purified water, good. Where is it, Kate? Is it here? 360 hub. I thought I knew where this place was. Alright, where is it? Where is it on the map? Let's look at the local map. We're back to Dr. Carrington. Talk to the okay, first of all, let's get everything off there. Yeah, yeah, cash. This is the only thing we need. Where is it on the map? Down in this direction? Secure the DIA cache. It's right, we're, but we're like on top of it. Let's go. Sometimes it's a little hard to find. It's it's on the other side of this building, isn't it? That says up there, but you can get to it from down here. Pretty sure. Yep, Hub 360. So if I go up here, definitely wants me to go through certain. There's purified water. Thank goodness. Up 
this. It's up there. Get up there. Without going into the building, is there a way to do it? Hmm. Could be. Might be. Oh, I see. Let's try this. Okay, hold on. I might be able to do this. Yeah, the water. Sweet. Okay. Wait for that to fill back up. Let's see if we can get in there this, with their jet pack. Hey, look! I did it. Sweet. That allows us to bypass some of the complications of getting in here. Kate, this place got some stuff. Loot, loot. EIA cash right here, baby. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Postman uniform. Still boy. Mechanic jump shoot broom. A baseball grenade. I don't, that's a cash? I don't see anything in there that's awesome. That's funny. Okay, well. Now what's it say? Report back to Pam. Okay, perfect. So that's all that we needed. That was easy enough. I suppose the hard part of doing that was to go through the building to, to get out, but since I took a shortcut, uh, what do I want to do? I guess the next thing to do would be we're really close to Good Neighbor, so let's do that. Let's go get Kiri back. Yeah, so I keep getting interrupted with my thoughts of Spectacle Island there anyway. Um, I, I like that they put stuff in the game like Spectacle Island because then Power Armor like users like me are forced to take a different approach. So that means ditching the Power Armor, putting on something else and uh, finding your way there. Swimming your way there. Me molecular level, no, I don't want that one. I want emergent behavior, okay. There we go. Let's go this way. Okay, I don't know where you are, I hope you catch up. Oh, there we go. You can just hop over the wall right there. Oh my goodness. He's named, I suppose. In that case, we should go see what he was doing. Combat rifle of the rapid automatic hard and piercing suppressed. That's not... No, it was not. Nothing amazing. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Since you gotta go around, I'm just gonna go over. <laughs> Cause that's one way to do it. And I don't mind that shortcut at all. I do not mind that shortcut at all. All right. Yeah, are you with me? There you are. Good old Kate. Been talk about Vault 81. Some problem there you were caught up with? Yes, a quarantine or some such. That is true. Vault 81. All right, let's go see what's going on here. The doctor in the, the memory den, and she's got batteries that I can't steal. All right, let's see what's going on here, Doc. 
So you're the one that wants to put a robot brain in G519? Yes. You know she's a synth. We're supposed to protect them. Lori, she wanted new memories. She knew her personality would be all but erased. These are just different memories. Perhaps better ones. I don't know. Maybe I should just let her go. Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. I... I think she'd like that. Fine. Do it. Do it now, before I change my mind. Curie, let's begin. I should see this through. Terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped. So this should take very long. confusing. Yes. There. <gasps> Talk to, oh, oh, is she? I, my, I just, my robot. That's funny. What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I, I feel, I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. That's promising. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Borrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed. Very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died. <laughs> before he finished the sentence. <laughs> oh. My insights feel peculiar. What is that? might be feeling grief for a friend. This unit has no friends, but there, my chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Borrow. The operation appears successful, but I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. Send Kate to Hangman's Your man. New data. The glowing sea. I find Virgin. this troubling agree. What happened? I found Virgil. He has a way inside the Institute. But I need a code from a Courser chip. A Courser chip? You fought my a Courser? My packs on. Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a Courser. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking Institute security. They're called the Railroad. Thanks, Doc. I know the way. You do? Oh, then good luck. I hope they can help you. Right. Listen, G519 went through a lot. But she was good. Solid. I hope... I hope a little of that's, that's still there. And if it isn't, make sure all of this was worth it. With Curie's scientific skills, <laughs> there's a real chance she'll help a lot of people down the line. Yeah, here's hoping. Losing G5 was tough, but I think she would have wanted her death to mean something. See you back at HQ. Hey. What do you want? Nothing right now. Let's go. Okay. What happens if I get out of this thing? Let's save the game and then let's do this. Okay. I just wanted to turn all those jetpacks off. This is messing up the lighting. Alright, Curie's with us. She's... Tom and his boys are still unloading all the toys you found from the DIA. Nice. No. It's my job. Curie. 
synth body now. Just not to the robot that we had left. It's funny that it changed back to that. Uh, I guess those are. They're not protectrons, but whatever they're called. Her original body style when it did that cutscene, it's, it's too bad that it didn't do whatever robot you turned her into. So, Kate's here. So, we have this. Um, have the Quartet Chip analyzed. Put your bill. Report back to Pam. Report back to Tinker Tom. Just need a full bottle and some bones to break. Do you have a minute? I think we should talk. Okay. I always have time to listen to you, Kate. Good. Because this isn't easy for me to say. And I want to get it right. Where do I begin? Did you know I spent three years fighting at the combat zone? Three years of getting beaten to hell by a bunch of losers and lunatics. After the matches were over, I'd spit out the blood, stitch me wounds, and do a couple of shots of Psycho to keep me going. I fucking hated it. I hated the crowds, I hated the other fighters, and I hated myself. I never understood why I put myself through all that. Until now. It was because I was alone. And I think deep down, I wanted to die. I wanted one of my opponents to crush the life out of me. The easy way out. Well, that's the past. You're not alone anymore. Then maybe you know what I'm trying to say to you. My life's been nothing but one huge failure after another. You've heard all my stories, and you know the prices I've paid. There were a few times when things got really bad that I... I found myself staring down the barrel of my own shotgun. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger. I guess I was praying that I could find a single decent scrap of humanity in this fucked up world. And then, what you did for me back there at Fault 95, it was like the answer to those prayers. That's the first time in me life I fully depended on someone else, and they didn't let me down. God damn it, I'm making a mess of this. It's all right, Kate. I'll be fine. I just need to be getting to the point. The longer we've been spending time together, the more I'm beginning to realize what you mean to me. And I'm not just talking about you watching me back or sharing a drink together. I mean more than that. Before we met, I'd never let me guard down around anyone. I didn't dare. But with you, I feel like I can let you in and see me for everything that I am. For better or for worse. Look. I can't go back to the way things were before we met. I won't. But what I need you to do is look me in the eyes and tell me you feel something too. Of course I do. I'm in love with you, Kate. You... you're what? You said... you're in love with me. I... I didn't know. I mean, I felt something between us, but I thought it was something else. Why? Why would you fall in love with someone as screwed up as I am? To tell you the truth, we're both a little screwed up. A perfect match for one another. I can't argue with that. This has to be the first time I put all my cards on the table and didn't end up losing everything. You don't know how much this means to me. To have someone special in my life. I promise you, I mean to make the most of it. All right, trigger rush perk, sweet. Kate, finish her, and there we go. Lovers embrace perk. Okay, what's her perk do? Companion, trigger rush. Thanks to your relationship with Kate, action points regenerate faster if your health is below twenty-five percent. Okay. Hot dog. Well, I got three companions affinity max. That's not too bad. I'm not one for romance options in games, but I was curious about her text being read because that means your uh, chance to succeed at that persuasion is pretty low, even with my character having, I think, almost maxed charisma. So that was a bit of curiosity there. If Fallout 4 were a real thing and I were really stuck in it as that character, Kate would be the one person I would be romantically interested in. Piper's okay, but Kate is more my kind of person. <laughs> A little rough around the edges. 
Yeah, oh, well, you know. Alright, let's go see the railroad and then we'll end this episode. This is, uh... And there's Kiri. Kiri is your, your opportunity for the Blade Runner moment. Which, by the way, Blade Runner is... Blade Runner is my favorite film of all time, and I was, I've been extremely pleased watching the sequel. I've seen it three times now, and uh, gosh, Denis Villeneuve, or however he pronounces his last name, he's a, he's going to be directing the new Dune movie, which I'm so excited about because the cast looks amazing. Looking at that cast reminded me of when Lord of the Rings was announced and we all saw the cast announcements for that film and went, oh, are you kidding? This looks like it's going to be so good. The cast is amazing. And of course it was. You know. I have the same feeling about this Dune project that he's working on, and especially because now that I've seen him really be able to put, really be able to put himself um, behind something you know, he goes and does Blade Runner 2049 and he just, him and his cinematography and the way he let the scene scenes breathe. Uh, gosh, it was amazing. So awesome. It was, it was the, it was the antidote to so much of the garbage that Hollywood has been spitting out over the years. Precisely the kind of movie I was hoping it was going to be in it and it had and it, and it took the story further. I kept thinking, what are they going to do with the story after Blade Runner? What are they actually going to do that's going to be interesting? And oh my gosh, he took it in some really interesting directions. And I really liked it. It's like, wow. But the beyond the story, I mean, for me, geez, Blade Runner is so much just an aesthetic and a mood. And it's stages and lighting and cinematography. And it's just an atmosphere. And... He did such a great job with that. It was so much, such a wonderful experience. Bet you never met a sin before glory. Bye. Hey, you keep placing Mila's, and I'll keep paying you. Could always use more Mila's placed. If you're interested. But if you're here to check out the latest and greatest, that's good. Welcome to the, the survivor from Augusta. We're a colorful Blackbird and arguably is insane dead. bunch. I didn't find any evidence of where the synth is. As I expected. Well, at least you weren't hurt. Perhaps Desdemona will listen to me next time. Hopefully this will help you in your future missions. Now, if you don't mind... I don't like Carrington. He's a prick. <laughs> I think I'd punch him out. The runner should be able to get to the cache now. Interface. That's great, Agent. Those provisions will really help Organization Railroad. Here's your reward. Have a good day. Okay. Anything else? That's not even worth picking up, boss. You don't know what you're talking about there, boss. Alright, what do you got for me? Make sure you're never following. Desdemona. It's all our asses if you are. I have a report here. It reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Yeah, that was me. I took down a courser. That's what the report says. Hard to believe. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but the conventional wisdom is that you run from them rather than engage them. So why did you kill him? I needed a Courser chip. I need the code on it. You have one of their chips intact? Follow me now. Decoding a Courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Hey, Dad. You need something? Tom, we got a Courser chip. Whoa! For real? 
Oh man, it's been ages. You've hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. There you go. All right, Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsa chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. The world's a dangerous place for anyone in my way. <laughs> We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connector for a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is what it? What is it? Wait. They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Soft way in. Come on. Show me that sweet bass number. Come on, baby. Then we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. And Agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. Ta-da. Okay. All that stuff is. All that stuff is taken care of, so that means we can rest and I can end this episode. Folks, as always, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have a question or comment, drop it down below. I'll do my best to respond. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching.